Well, we may call it baseball, but at the heart of the sport is the glove. And repairing the mitt takes a particular skill. That's when you call the glove doctor, a New Yorker who not only saves the glove, but also the memories attached to it. There's a lot of laces involved here, so take them out carefully. Filling a basement in Brooklyn is the musky scent of leather baseball fans find intoxicating. It's where John Gollum does surgery on the most prized possessions. They're trusting their sentimental glove, the glove that they maybe pass on to their child or continue to use. It's very rewarding to me when they're pleased. Mitts from across America find their way to the shop of the glove doctor. My customers are just everyday people, uh, just like you and me. There's nothing more sentimental than a baseball glove. It's the glove you made that great catch with. And it just it just feels right, you know. You go through the whole routine of breaking it in and getting it just to squeeze correctly, and uh, it just feels good. Leather craftsmen are scarce, but exceptionally rare are the masters of the art, the few who are entrusted with the gloves of Hall of Famers. There was a glove that Derek Jeter had a small tear here, he obviously loved his glove and he wanted to use it. He couldn't use it with the tear, so they FedExed it to me overnight and I fixed that glove for him. Were you nervous working on Jeter's glove? Pretty nervous, I suppose, but I'm, I'm good. I trust my ability. A glove is more than just a tool of the trade for you guys, isn't it? It's almost like your friend. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I got to take care of my boy, you know? That, this is my boy. This is my best friend in the game, my glove, so. And uh, I like to keep the glove on. I mean, safe. More than just a piece of leather, after painstakingly crafting it, it's shaped to each individual, distinctive, personal. Why do you name your gloves? Most people with their names on their gloves. I know what my name is, so it's not like I need to look down to be reminded, so I try to put something that's kind of unique and fun out there. Some give them a name. Some go to extraordinary measures to extend its life. The trainer from the Yankees, Steve Donahue, had to drive a glove down to my shop when I was in Princeton because the ball player was so nervous about his glove that he wouldn't send it uh, in the mail. The average price to repair a glove is between $150 and $200. The doctor uses a hand-selected special lining made of American cowhide. In this instance, he's restoring an old shoeless Joe Jackson glove, to which the years have not been kind. And even though that it's missing some of the fingers, I am so familiar with the design that I can just replicate it. The majority of his work is on the inside of the glove where the salts in your sweat corrodes the leather. The key is to make sure it doesn't affect the feel. As the glove gets broken in, the leather has um, a unique shape, which ultimately accumulates into the feel and I have to keep the feel, the original feel of the glove. You don't want to do a repair and then have the guy put it on and say, this is not my glove. What happened? What did you do to my glove? That's an intricate web. Yeah, this is crazy kind of uh, stitching back and forth with, with the uh, rawhide lace here. But these laces are all interconnected. I mean, once you start one, you've got to, you've got well, to unlace think, the whole thing, huh? Not only that, i got to know how to put it back in. Whether it's baseball gloves or boxing, leather runs through his blood. I've been fortunate to be part of a, um, a great American manufacturing family. John's grandfather founded the most famous gloves in the history of boxing, Everlast. In fact, in 1983, John himself designed and created the thumbless glove to prevent eye injuries. It has been recognized as the optimal design for gloves ever since. Actually led to the, um, to all boxing gloves having the thumb attached so you can't um, and that's mandatory it. right now it's it's still mandatory absolutely change change boxing forever how do you think your grandfather would react to seeing just how much care well, and love you put into what you're oh doing with God. the baseball gloves yeah well he would be very thrilled when you have a name like everlast you got to make a very good product it's got to last forever but that was that's was his uh, you know his his guiding legacy he wanted to make very good high quality products and that's what i'm carrying on you can see some of John's work up close at the Yogi Berra Museum where he created a baseball glove exhibit. We'll be right back.